Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I'm on the Chrome Accessibility team at Google. In this video, we'll dive into how to use the Select to Speak feature on your Chromebook. To provide a bit of background, we currently offer two different features for text-to-speech within your Chromebook accessibility settings. First, we have the Chromevox screen reader, which is a full system screen reader that you can turn on at any time by pressing Control-Alt-Z as in Zebra. Chromevox speaks every time you move your focus, and you can also use it with a refreshable Braille display. Chromevox is most beneficial for anyone with more significant vision loss. We have other videos in this series that dive deeper into Chromevox, so if you're curious to learn more, definitely check those out. Separately, we have our Select to Speak feature, which makes it possible for you to hear only certain text spoken aloud on the screen, kind of like on-demand text-to-speech. This can be useful for anyone like me who is low vision, or anyone who simply benefits from both listening to text spoken aloud while visually reading it. It can be helpful to anyone with reading or comprehension challenges, new language learners, or many others. Let's turn this feature on and take a look at the different ways to use it. To turn on Select to Speak, I'll navigate to the Chromebook settings by opening up the System menu and clicking on the Settings button. If you choose to navigate here by keyboard, you can do so by pressing Alt-Shift-S, pressing Tab to get to the Settings button, then pressing Enter. Next, I'll type Accessibility into the search field then choose Manage Accessibility Features. Now that I'm in the list of Chromebook accessibility settings, I'll head to the Text-to-Speech section and turn on Enable Select to Speak. Now let's look at the different ways to use the feature. I'll head to Google's accessibility website, google.com slash accessibility, to explore. The first way I can use Select to Speak is to hold down the search key and then use the touchpad or mouse to click and drag a box around the content that I want read aloud. For reference, I like to hold my thumb down on the touchpad and use my index finger to then drag a box. If I just want to read one line aloud, I can hold down search and then just click that line. Everyone should be able to access and enjoy the web. I can press Control to stop speech at any time. A second way to use this feature is to use the Select to Speak button that appears in the lower right of the screen when the feature is on. It looks like a little sound icon with audio waves. I can click or tap that button with my finger and then similarly, use my touchpad to drag a box, or even use my finger to drag a box if I'm on a touchscreen Chromebook. Developers and publishers, information and resources to help you develop accessible products and apps. You can also use this button while Select to Speak is speaking to stop speech. The third way to use Select to Speak is to highlight specific text using my touchpad. Once it's highlighted, I can press Search plus S, as in Select, and then only that text will be read aloud. Should be able to access this can be useful if you want to select very precise text instead of a larger region. As I've been using this feature, you may have noticed that each word is highlighted as it's spoken aloud. This is something you can customize in Select to Speak settings. Let's take a look at that now. I'll head back to the general Chromebook accessibility settings, and under the toggle to turn this feature on, I can click Open Select to Speak Settings. Here, I can do a number of things. I can change the color of the word-by-word -word highlighting. For example, I can change it from pink to green. Or I can turn off the word highlighting if it's distracting. Here, I can also access my speech settings. Right now, I have my voice set to use the system text-to-speech voice. To personalize the voice, I can click text-to-speech settings, and from there, I can customize the speech rate, pitch, and volume, and even hear a preview of my selected preferences. Note that any adjustments I make to the global setting for the system voice will also take effect if I'm using the Chromevox screen reader or other text-to-speech services. I can also choose different voices, languages, or accents. I have a handful of voices I have added to the list, including one of the acapella's children's voices I purchased from acapella through the Chrome Web Store. I'll play a quick preview of this now. Hi there, I'm your text-to-speech voice. Using the children's voices can be really helpful when working with younger users, so definitely check them out. So that's a quick demo of the different ways to use and customize Select to Speak. Thanks so much for watching. If you have questions or feedback about Google accessibility, find out more at google.com slash accessibility. To sign up for user studies to explore new features and help shape Google products, go to google.com slash usability. For general feedback or questions about the topics you've seen today, Consider joining the Google group Chromebook-accessibility at googlegroups.com and participate in the conversation with other community members. 
or reach out to our support team by sending an email to disability-support at google.com. Also, look out for other videos on ways to make Chrome and Chromebooks easier to use. Again, I'm Laura, and on behalf of myself and the Chrome Accessibility Team, thanks so much for watching.